no 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 uh, you see what i am asking here Sir. how can how can we recognize it how can we recognize it and the tear cut it two cut it how can we recognize it how can we recognize it dicots plant very simple very easy tap root tap root very good tap root system and uh, tamaras and tamaras hmm two cotyledons two cotyledons the seed is two cotyledons hmm yes okay you know very well so after that one you see the bentha mokars already you know very well how many orders in thalami flore and calici flore disc flore how many orders thalami flore total it is in seven orders as there i already told in thalami flore okay bentha mokars are classified so here it is enough in how many series is there seven series is there first one it is in ranelis first one it is in ranelis so last one that is of in malvay cac malvay c okay so you see i already the last class so we are completed so little bit of contraversial structures is there with the ranelis what is the contraversially see here order ranelis centrospermae okay and another one amentiferae three orders is there so this uh, three orders are attracted to the attention of the which one that is in systematics means some the disturbance is there in between so you see first one is primitive second one is advanced after one more advanced but here what happens okay all the systems are going to simple to complex but whatever the structure you are looking in the number one but above the above development character we are observing to the second one but here what happens so little bit uh, contributory structures is there so that is of in ranelis and uh, next one that is of in centrospermae and uh, amentiferae this three this is uh, the most important your uh, examinations also order ranelis that is of natural taxa here the floral all the floral pods are arranged the floral pods are arranged uh, okay so a little bit uh, spiral spirally arranged spirally arranged where it is in ranelis okay now all the floral pods are arranged so that is of spirally this is a system of which one that is ranelis so in general in general see here the perianth is not perianth means which one united perianth is not distinguished in calyx and corolla okay both carpels and stamens are numerous and it is to very free okay so this is of in ranelis so next now you see second one the centrospermae okay this is a second one the centrospermae is a perianth is typically bicerate ovary where it is in superior unilacular placentations basal are free central and uh, where it is embryo curved and coiled and order is called as carvembriae carvembriae mean the ovary looking like that okay curve like structures we call that is a carvembriae okay so but uh, some members some members are saying like this so this group and this group are produce a different type of the chemicals different type of the chemicals so and also so the vascular pigments blue violet 
red series and uh, john thins those elor arranged series have been known most of the families okay means see when we are looking what is a controversial statement so when we are looking in all the similar character in spite of it is not a same family so we are looking the different sections so that is of little bit controversial and next now you see one more is the so that is of in tubulifera helobius polis okay p o a l e s polis tubulifera the first one in this group so the tubulifera group large order basically herbaceous plant basically this of in herbaceous plant all this group so this of in gamopetale corolla characterized by the floral pods is isomerous means all the floral pods are same the role which is of in oligomerous gynecium and andrisium stamens are epipetalous hypogynous and the ovules each with the single integument single integument so this is the characteristics of form um, tubiflorae and in this group in this group so first one is a convalulaceae so last one so 12 orders uh, is there so that is of in uh, pyremiaceae so and other one is there and uh, we are going to discuss in only one one family so what is the characteristics of in tubiflorae that is of in c the first one is of in nymphiaceae family first one that is of in nymphiaceae family yes in all the in this group in the nymphiaceae family so almost all, all the groups are uh, which one that is of in most of the aquatic families aquatic plant total that is of in aquatic plants so the marsh habitat almost all all these plants are completely submerged and submerged submerged plants nymphiaceae family so aquatic plants aquatic means so these are all the plants we are looking in only where the water that is in aquatic here nymphiaceae are the nymph nymphiaceae are annual or perennial aquatic herbs means all the plants are looking in only where the waters and uh, see the root system also we are observing okay, rhizomatous rhizomatous the roots are so we are also we are looking in this uh, family the leaves are floating the leaves are floating shapes rarely arise above the water surface simple and deeply inside it of uh, that is a uh, means so these plants these uh, plant leaves are looking so where the uh, above the little above the wa, above the waters okay so water nature sir yes above the waters we are looking these plants so these uh, leaves are not looking inside the waters this is of nymphiaceae families so you see when we are looking in the leaf the petiole is very long petiole is very long and so many air spaces also we are looking in that one air spaces means when we are uh, touch the petioles some little sound is there means in between total that is of empty is there the flowers are solitary flowers are solitary so bisexual flowers is there and uh, hypogynous or sometimes some of the members also we are looking in perigynous and epigynous okay so the arrangement of leaves it is of in cyclic means round like structures is there so this is of in convolvulaceae families okay yeah <clears throat> and the next one so in this group 
so so many other families also were looking find uh, where the other members when you are looking so that is of uh, totally uh, 55 genera is there 1650 1650 species uh, also were looking in this uh, sections so but extended to the temperate region also temperate where the so temperate region also we are looking economically the sweet potato also in this uh, group tuberous roots is there rich is a starch and sugar or edibles so little bit these are all the characters from convolvulaceae families okay so after the convolvulaceae one more order also we are looking in this rubiaceae there is a mostly one more important family is there the mostly hopes is there sometimes the shoops and uh, climbing climbing uh, plant also we are looking in this one and uh, here now you see so that is of in here uh, yes. now you see here the stamens of nymphia the stamens of nymphia so what type of shapes you are looking the between anther and filament between anther and filament so there we are looking uh, what we call so there is no one special type of the sections is there anther cells are very deeply sunk in lamina the translational forms between stamens and petals are very clear so this is the stamen structure of nymphaceae families the carpels are very free when you are looking in nymphaceae family the carpels are free and sunk in sponge elongated okay the thalamus arises above the perianth and uh, andrisms okay. so these are all the nymphaceae families and uh, one more section is there in this one that is of in solanaceae family in this solanaceae family the most of the twinners is there so by collateral by collateral vascular bundles is there the leaves are non flowering pods so usually alternate but uh, and in fluorescence protein becoming of opposite simply rarely extipulate this is of in colonacy family okay so and uh, next to similar character same or also you are looking depending on the floral characters this family can be subdivided so when we are studying in when you are studying in in depth in depth study so little bit uh, structures are different is there okay so that is of in bignoniaceae in the character another one that is of in acanthiaceae family also we are looking in this one okay so next is next one that is of in holobialis the holobialis entire the family entire the section the plants are mostly here also we are looking in aquatic plants so these plant and also submerged plants so actually these also submerged plants but these plants are little bit uh, variation is there that's why so they are given special place uh, in entire the group the plants are possesses uh, globular endosperm special type of endo endo Spam we are looking in this one here. This is of in Halobiales. Similarly, the last one that is of in Halobiales family is also we are looking in this one. Okay, so this entire this one only little bit of uh, the order of uh, Chubiflore was mentioned in the classification. Angler planter and uh, angler planter classifications are given the positions. Is one of the forty-three orders in class Dicotyledons, and uh, one of the eleven orders in the subclass of Metaclamidae order. 
tubiflora includes 25 families mostly with the tubular flowers shaped like tube of the families of this order so were treated under direct classification is clearly so you already given uh, already i told that one that is tubiliflora the so next one order second one that is of philobialis so is one of the which comes under the class of monocotyledons so these section the angular flanker systems of classifications this order includes eight families some families are represented by just uh, on genes levels the treatment of the treatment of bear families under different type of the classifications we are looking in so various uh, that is of remarkable in polobialis and last one that is of polis consists of that is only poesi families a that group this order was named by takte chan thons and uh, they are given one name that is in poesi family the hutchinson named hutchinson was given the name particularly that is in gramini gramini poesi so gramini that is of in poesi the main characters order are annual this of in perennials hops with cylindrical hollow internodes sheathing of leaf bases with a typical spikelet in fluorescence okay so comparative account of the treatment entire these families and these are all the orders tubiliferae elobius and poesi so tubular all entire the family entire these three sections so we are looking tube like structures tube like tubular like structures that's why we call this of in tubiliferae systematic question and phylogeny for a discussed in the light of the recent information derived from all sources that is of in chemicals molecular and uh, phylogenetical orders so this is the little uh, introduction about the general accounts of order tubiliferae and helobialis and so there is a poelis of poesi families poesi family so, so whatever it may be these are in general structures so when we are looking in these are all the plants similar structures is there structurally all are same but little variation is there that's why so in all the taxonomical scientist so oh, they are grouped in special sections special section okay so after the next one already this is of in flora and uh, vegetation of andhra pradesh you know very well this one but i am not going to detail about in this one so this is what is important thing for the one is very simple just to uh, you read in only that is enough flora of vegetations so what is the meaning of flora please tell me or anybody what is the meaning of flora plants fauna means animals the flora is completely inventory plants occurring in the particular area particular area so <laughs> called the zone flora the vegetation some total growth of various forms plant populations particularly one area okay particularly one area so what type of plants are lacking in one area we call that is flora okay so this is of in question is there in your book okay already i think uh, another lecture is completed classify the vegetation types of in andhra pradesh discuss about the dry this this forest this is an important question in that one the so next one more important one important topic that is in herbarium so what is the meaning of herbarium tell me or anybody what is the meaning of herbariums herbarium is a garden oh, of plants flowers information is a collection <laughs> collection collection number of plants collection of their flower. condition in their condition the plants and preserved and preserved of white sheets for the 
reference purpose. So we call that herbariums. Okay. So why you are collected to the plants? What is the importance of herbarium? Why you are collected to the herbarium, please? Some species are in some disappear only. Very important. Tell me. One more words. Why you are collected to the plant? What is the importance of herbarium? Research Her purpose. Very good, very good. Okay. The short question purpose in your examination, this one is important, herbarium. Herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens arranged according to some known system of classifications to facilitate identification and uh, nomenclature, preserve the record of plants. So we call that as a herbariums. The specimen may be whole plant. You know the specimen means? Specimen means entire the plant. Okay, so the specimen may be whole plant. That is a herbs or shrubs, other plant, plant pots, which are properly dyed and pressed tagging care that they retain all essential parts necessary for identifications. So we call this is in herbarium. So you see, for uh, some plants are succulent plant. So you know what is the meaning of succulent plant? Aloe vera, aloe vera, zero phytic plant, zero phytic. So how you collect, how you collect the succulent plant. Okay, so you see here the succulent plant. Uh, so that is often unsuitable, unsuitable for the pressing and so that is often drying techniques. A preserved in suitable liquid, preser so preser preservatives, preservatives such as uh, so when we are here we are using two different types of the chemicals. So for example, there is a film where it is in formaldehyde. We are using to the formaldehyde. So now you know very well what is the herbarium? Yeah. What is the role of herbarium? Why you are collected to the plant? What is the role of your herbariums? The herbariums Herbarium service as a safe place for the storing pressed plant material and collected from different parts of the world. Means, so you see, the plants you are collecting different places, not only particularly one places. Okay. So the plant collection is the herbarium provide the physical evidence why you are collecting to the herbarium? Why you are collect to the plant species? See, when you are collect to the plant species, so it provides the physical evidence of vegetation, particularly with the one regions, okay, which may be destroyed due to the some so natural that is of in some other any so calamities. The specimen in the herbarium valuable data on their leaves. So when you are collect to the plant, where you are collected that plant, the tag is most important. And uh, what type of the characters is there? What type of the leaf is there? What type of flower is there? You write all these uh, points, data, habitat, habit, local, what type of color, what type of flower, okay, associated or uh, any other plants, etc. So when you are collect to the one plant, so you write all these uh, points. Why means it's a very helpful to the uh, reference in future. Okay. So means this data, whatever you are uh, collected data, it is a provided. Okay. So available material for the proper morphological descriptions and range of variations. The herbaria provide data for 
ethnobotanical and phytogeography phytogeography studies also uh, provide and uh, voucher specimens also most important voucher specimens so is voucher specimens so it is a uh, i use it to for the research purpose research purpose preserved in the various herbaria to provide an index that is a specimen on which studying of chromosomes that is of phytochemistry and uh, palynology so on reference purpose we are using the variants okay. the next now in your uh, book uh, that is uh, what is the functions of herbarium okay so that is a uh, kinds of herbaria that is of international herbaria national <coughs> herbarium and uh, local herbariums so different type of the herbariums uh, uh, we are uh, observing we are looking in there the large number of herbaria have been established in different parts of the world over a period of uh, last 400 years the systematic development of herbaria means herbarium started during the 18th century when where it is in linnaeus that is of in sweden annan velu pora bhumareshwara over 1600 words most important herbaria so that is of a royal botanical garden in the where it is in england royal botanical garden in uh, england this is a famous uh, herbaria collected museum of natural history paris second one so botanical institute of uh, which one that is of in lenin orchid that is of in russia and uh, conservatory on botanical gardens mussori botanical garden new york botanical gardens so many botanical gardens is there in so where it is the world wise okay. so in our india the central national herbarium botanical survey of india herbarium of forest research institution that is a where it is in dehradun and similarly pune coimbatore shilla in our india these are so there are also different type of the herbariums so is there when you are going to the collected collect the species collect the specimens so we are using two different type of the some equipments equipment also most important okay so that is of in field press field notebook the vesiculum and hind lens so these are all the parts are also most uh, important the first now you see how the preparation of herbarium main the first point that is a collection of plant specimen is most important so next one pressing of the specimen and drying and poisoning third one that is a fourth one is mounting so next one that is a filling and storing so this is the herbarium techniques the first you see here the plant specimen should be collected from different localities the habitats in every stage of their growth and reproductions the plant specimens should uh, be reduced in flower and uh, fruit also most important okay. so this is to the herbariums Okay, collection to the herbarium. So and uh, arrangement, and, uh, other other sections is there. So next, now you see again we are going to one more is there. So that is uh, biodiversity. Okay. So next one, we have the very short time. That's why we are going to have a speed. So biodiversity. So please tell me here anybody. what is the meaning of biodiversity diversity means variations diversity we are looking where bio means life 
to all the lives not looking the same all are the humans so all are the plants but all the plants and all the lives are not looking the same so we are looking different type of the shapes different type of the structures from the genes levels so we call that is in biodiversities okay so this biodiversity and uh, is an obstructed world for the biological diversity with uh, represents of the some of all life forms life forms plants animals fungi microorganisms in all the plants we are not looking the same okay a little variation is there we call that is in biodiversity diversity okay in any life any life we are not looking the same so we call that is of in diversity okay so see here this diversity this diversity we are looking from genes level second is of in species level and their life process see here you know very well so that is of in our dna which one that is of in protein so second that is of in sugars and uh, so phosphorus adenine guanine so this one um, nitrogen basis is there adenine guanine thymine and cytosine is there same type of the genes we are looking same one that is also there are we are looking adenine okay so that is of in thymine and cytosine also we are looking in there the genes are differences two genes are not same so you see now here we call this of in gene variation gene variations so here we are also saying the same name here also we are saying the same name but all the genes names are same but structurally different that's why so we call this of gene variations okay similarly so you see group of the genes group of the genes the formation of species but all the species also not looking the same we call this is in species variations similarly but in all the species particularly we are looking one area one area all the humans staying only one area and all the plants all the animals okay so we call this is of in species this particularly one system is there one different one systems means ecosystems so we call this of in so there also we are looking different type of the variations okay it includes means these are all the includes a vast area organisms their individuals genetic makeup of their life processes their life to the processes so in their interrelationship of communities and ecosystems you see so here we are looking here you are seeing different type of the places any spite of the interrelations is there so for example you see now this is a computer yeah so this one this is an abiotic component so we are all our biotic components whose relation is there there is no abiotic component there is no biotic interrelation is there abiotic to biotic components yeah so in all the biological in all the biological systems in the planet earth interesting with uh, one and other with the physical environment the basis of biosphere biosphere is function okay yeah next now you see here the biodiversity is a uh, the essential for continued extensive humanity the well being uh, to this uh, that is of in humans in uh, intimately linked to the well being of the environment the biodiversity provides man with raw materials and food shelters energy everything is everything is coming to the bio diversity everything is coming to the so where the other uh, ecosystems so <clears throat> here what is the value of biodiversity hello hello sir yes what is the uh, understand all of biodiversity sir sir mm. biodiversity means abiotic and biotic 
ಕೋಸ್ ಬಿಗ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಬಯೋಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚಸ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ the nature and value of biodiversity the biodiversity encompasses species genus and ecosystems what is the meaning of species where are the species plants and the species okay all the plants are not looking the same all the life forms are not looking the same so we call that is in species diversity okay the species diversity refers to the species of richness species of richness so for example when we are looking to any crab so that is in there you are looking one crab family is there so crop population is there so either any animal population is there the species uh, now you see in the particularly one area particular one area so we are looking that is of in uh, 300 species and uh, if you found any one of the species growing in the large number of so for example over the thousand individuals okay, when we are looking to the particular one area one area so any some one area for for example one kilometer or two kilometers in that area so there we are looking different type of the life forms is there different life of the so life of the species we are looking so we call that is in species diversities and next one that is second one it is a genetic diversity where the genes level so variation we are looking so we call that is in genetic diversity so you see so many types of plants is there and if you and guys how many type varieties is there origus sativa so many varieties is there so this is of in genus uh, genetic diversity and uh, next to point ecosystem diversities so ecosystem diversity means you see for example so when you are looking one lake one pond that is of in okay, pond ecosystem is there so when when we are going to the other area desert ecosystem is there zero sphere and exosphere there we are looking different type of the life forms and here we are looking different type of the life forms okay that is of in ecosystem diversity is there so is three types is there that is of in uh, species diversity and uh, genetic diversity so next one that is of in ecosystem diversities so these three types is there and uh, what is the values of biodiversity what is the values so you see the human not only human you know all the parasites in heterotrophs depending on the so where the plants for example one forest and any other things so it is giving so many resources food most important second one is medicines okay at least you know you see 75000 species of the plants are known there a double value during the course of history about 3000 plants have been used as major food sources see here we are using 75000 plants so it is uh, we are using to giving to the different type of the food materials and here now you see uh, just uh, 20 species less than 20 species now provide nearly 90% of the world food supply this point is most important so here we are looking more than 75000 are species also so we are looking but only 20% of the the plants are giving only food materials so you know uh, already very well only three plants is the most important that is three 20 three plants the second one is a jowar and orange sativa and chitral gum these three plants 80% of the 
entire the population depending on only this a uh, e crabs okay the the second point the biological resources have provided and thanks uh, it is a, a rich supply of medicines around the 20000 plants 20000 plants okay. so now recently the catranthus roses there is a pocinaceae family so these plants are using in with the uh, cancer uh, development to the cancer medicines so that is from catranthus roses so the food and uh, medicines most important the next one the fiber that is from fiber wood and other products the next one that is of scientific value okay. soil and water conservations soil and water conservation values okay that is of aesthetic values so spiritual cultural values also value so these are all the values of in biodiversity values of in biodiversity okay so biodiversity is a global and national levels so biodiversity of the world and global hot spots means you know, the protection areas is there trends of biodiversity in different parts of the world some of the means for how protection to the protected to the biodiversity so the hot spots also we are looking hot spots means particularly one protection areas so you see now you know very well in adilabad district there it is in kawal wildlife sanctuary is there nagarjuna tiger reserve forest is there so manjira no near medak district in manjira is there so many we call this as a hot spots kajrango national park in gujarat so where the protection areas so so we call that as a uh, hot spots uh, we are saying that as a hot spots so in our india is a mega biodiversity means uh, we call it as 12th mega biodiversity in our india so here we are looking it is of in world wise world wise the viruses or bacteria 8050 near about plus or minus world wise so we are looking now we are uh, so looking to virus and bacteria particularly in india so we are looking in only 8 species is there in our india so and uh, algae algae species the world wise 40000 species uh, we are looking in the world wise particularly in our india near about uh, 6500 algae is there in our india similarly the fungi world wise 70000 more than 70000 species we are looking particularly in our india uh, we are looking 14500 uh, similarly lichens so lichens already you know where we uh, one part fungus association with uh, other symbiotic association we call that is in lichens so these lichens worldwide that is of in near about 14000 species uh, we are looking in particular in our india 2000 species 2000 species we are looking similarly mosses and bryophyte so gymnosperms and uh, angiosperms so in angiosperm this is the most important worldwide 2 lakhs 50000 species 2 lakhs 50000 species we are looking but in the, in india 17000 500 species uh, in our um, india we are looking in that uh, yes so now you see floristic uh, out of uh, you see here the flora in india including the accounts for 49000 49219 species is there flowering plants in our india okay so that is uh, the total number of angiosperms recorded in our india 17500 species under about uh, 4000 genera and uh, 315 families uh, 15 families is there in angiosperms so these are all the uh, the families identified in our india so the four, which one that is of poaceae family called as a grass family the largest family that is a uh, 260 genera and uh, 2000 sorry 
500 species so is there and uh, fabaceae legume family is the lowest is there in our india that is a uh, 191 genera so 1152 species so arcadiaceae family is a very less family is there that is often 166 to genera and 1141 species is there a little bit of information so this is of in our india and here one uh, worldwide out of uh, 650 species in gymnospams in the world the india we are looking only 50 species okay so that is a uh, pinaceae with eight genera is there and 17 species we are looking less gymnosperms we are looking in our india so this is a little bit information about uh, Mm, the floristic wealth of in India. So next now you see here so some zones is there entire our India some zones. So based on the floristic uh, compositions and uh, you know, the flora several phytogeographs variously divided entire our India divided some zones is there that is of in different uh, provisions different zones well that is of in plains of Himalayas, Himalayas, deserts, and semi arid tropics, western gods, the Ken Plateau and uh, Gangton Plateau, coast and uh, northeastern and uh, islands. Okay, so these are all the some don't see this in our uh, entire and our India protection areas is there. And uh, what is the threats of biodiversity? Okay. This much of good biodiversity is there. And I know here so many threads is there. So what is the threats of first point? You know very well already. Harvesting of uh, timber, ice loops of poles in the poor purpose. Expanding forms of plantation to the commercial crabs is there. So mineral and uh, oil extractions is there. Development of uh, programs like conservations. The habitat of uh, destruction by the and encouragement of natural forest and uh, of in weedlands. So this is of in threats of in, uh, biodiversities. And here, how to the protections of the biodiversity means here two types is there. So one it is in in situ conservations and the next one that is of in ex situ conservations. Two types is there. So one it is in in situ conservations. Second one that is of in ex situ conservations. Okay. So, and uh, one more important is there in this one, the National International of Conservation of uh, Strategies is there. So, this is a little bit of biodiversity topic. I know you see, the biodiversity is, uh, represents some of all the life forms, some of the all life forms on the planet Earth. That is often the humans of intimately linked with the uh, well-being, well-being of environment. The biodiversity provides man with raw materials, food and shelters and other energy and medicines. Okay. So, this is of the worldwide destruction of the natural environment as lead. So, that is of a tremendous loss of biological diversities over the past few decades. Okay. About uh, 3,400 species of plant are facing. So that is uh, so many problematic is there. So biodiversity can be conserved through in situ conservations and uh, ex situ conservations. So natural protected areas of biosphere reserves, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. That is of sacred groves and other uh, botanical gardens and other uh, next one that is of Geological parks is there, gene banks of the uh, protection uh, uh, sections of an entire the biodiversities. So, this is the biodiversities, biodiversity sections. Yeah. So, next, now you see here, now, so we are completed that is of in first part and uh, uh, second block and third block, three blocks. So we are completed. So next, now you see, so we are going to 
the important uh, that is in anatomy okay so please tell me here anybody uh, what is the meaning of anatomy understand all of you taxonomy and uh, other gymnosperms internal parts oh, no. uh, internal page. structures function internal organ structures and functions that is in anatomy yes okay yes. ano means internal structures okay tummy means studying of internal structures we call that is in anatomy is it okay now yes sir see this one this one life form formation by the one cell okay one plant formation one which one that is cell structurally functionally basic unit all biological forms we call that is in we call that is in cell what is the meaning of cell structurally functionally basic unit all biological forms we call that is in cell okay the so next now you okay. see one group of cells are formation only one cell when you are coming here group of cells is there the group of cells we call that is in tissues tissues is it okay now yes sir yes similarly group of tissues we call that is in organs Organs. organs organs yes all types of organs so we are getting one life forms one life forms yes spreading all these things spreading all these things we call that is in anatomy okay yes, yes before going that one see already you know very well who discovered by the cell robert hook cell okay Yeah, now I am not going the detail about the understand already. You know very well. One is a cell wall is there. Second one is protoplasm is there. Okay. Yes. Cell wall is made up of different type of the molecules is there. Okay. Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids. So many structures is there. Medulla medulla, primary cell wall, secondary cell wall. Inside, which one that is in protoplasm is there. In that protoplasm. So we are looking different type of the cell organelles, yeah. Golgi bodies, ribosomes, and lysosomes. Okay, now, yes. So now you see here. Now you are going to studying the anatomy. Yeah, means the tissues is the tissues. Tissues means group of group yeah. of cells. We call that as yeah. tissues. The tissues may be defined a group of a group of Similar or similar cells. Okay, what is the meaning of tissues in anatomy? In anatomy, so we are studying only tissues. What is the meaning of tissues? Group of cells. Okay, we call that is in tissues. Same, which perform a common function and have a common origin. common origins so we call that is in tissues tissues in lower plant like unilacular or colony forms every cell we have as an independent unit and perform all the functions as evolution progressed that is of specialized is there the cells begin in certain lower plants some cells remain as vegetative while other carry out reproduction systems so in higher plants in higher plants the cell 
are organized into tissues okay so entire this plant tissues are broadly classified mainly two types mainly two types one it is in meristematic tissues second one is permanent tissues is it okay now yes. once again please so now this is the one cell here it is in one cell group of cells we call that is in tissues tissues in anatomy we are going to studying only tissues in lower plants in lower plants means so there you are looking in colonies type in wild wax algae it is a colonies type is there so one that cell we have so that is of behave uh, special independent independent unit to perform all the functions in lower plants not higher plants uh, so okay you live it in uh, lower plants now we are going to discuss in higher plants in higher plants so these tissues are classified mainly two sections so one it is in meristematic tissues second one is permanent tissues is it okay now how do you respond how many types of tissues two types sir. yes what is the first one is meristematic tissue meristematic tissue second one is permanent tissues is it okay Ah, yes. yes now what is the meaning of meristematic tissues tell me or anybody tissue tissue then growth uh, division in cells sir yes ah. so here the first primitive yeah. tissues where the young tissues is there okay so the meristematic tissues are group of immunate cells in the continuous state divisions always the cells are produced in new cells the meristems is derived from the greek word that is of meristotes meristotes which means divisible always where the divisible divisible cells is there we call that is in meristematic tissues okay the yes. term was coined by his name is nageli nageli scientist is it okay now is it clear okay sir yes, yes. Sir. Uh, once again see the meristems is derived from the greek word okay which means divisible divisible is it okay okay sir these these cell these uh, tissues we are looking in entire the families and sorry entire the species Tissues we are looking in where the root system, where the stem, yes, where the leaf, where the flower, where the divisions is started. There we are looking in meristematic tissues. Is it okay now? Yeah. Yes. The activity of meristematic tissues, new cells are added continuously to the entire plant body. Some cells remain meristematic. continue cell divisions and provide always it is in new cells okay so we call this is in meristematic tissues where the always it is produced to the new cells we call that is meristematic cells yes what is the characters of meristematic tissues okay at yeah, the first one here now you see they are in general thin wall it is there first point meristematic tissue okay okay sir is it clear yes sir hmm yes so you see a second point the cell wall is made up of cellulose cellulose the cells may be round oval and which uh, is of polygonal shapes rectangular shapes the cells are completely arranged without intracellular spaces means these are all the young cells that's why there is no okay there is no any intracellular spaces is there yes so you know the cells have dense cytoplasm and many so minute vacuoles 
are divided of tacules and not centrally that is a situated prominent nucleus is the prominent nucleus is there the plastids are formed at the that is a proplastid stage and uh, one more characters the apical meristems of plant bodies are responsible for the it is a formation of primary plant body this growth is cellular this growth is uh, called as primary growth the type of growth due to the activity of uh, apical meristem of shoot and also due to the intercalary meristems so this is the main characteristics of uh, meristematic uh, tissues the cells have small amounts of endoplasmic reticulum poor development of in mitochondria so these are all the meristematic tissues is it okay now yes yeah yes sir ah uh, yes so one more uh, point is there where the dicotyledons or gymnosperms after the completion of primary growth the axis of length and where it is a diameter the further growth of plant due to the increase of the diameter of formation in secondary tissues means see you now here for example the plant development like this okay so when coming here when coming like this we call this of secondary growth in this section also we are looking in meristematics secondary growth in the plant body okay the secondary tissues are formed by the activity of which when there is a fin where uh, where it is xylem and phloem vascular cambium in the stellar region or cambium in a uh, extra stellar regions <clears throat> means entire the plant body where the functioning started that area we are looking in meristematic tissues okay so this is the introduction of in meristematic tissues so next now you see here what is the classification of meristema meristems Here we are looking in the meristematics. Okay, so based on the origin, based on the positions and the plane divisions functions. Okay, so the classification of meristems. So you see, uh, basis of uh, different uh, various criteria. The first one, based on origin and development of uh, initiating cells. origin what is the meaning of an origin regions hmm? origin o r g o r i g i n origin means starting starting yes starting okay. tissues so based on the origin based on the origins on the basis of origin and development okay so the initiating cells so there are generally three classes is there three classes are recognized okay there is a fin pro meristem second there is a fin primary meristem and secondary meristems based on the origin based on the origin so these meristems are divided in three categories so first one that is a fin pro meristem what is the meaning of in pro meristem pro means previous advance sorry before okay Later, it is because it is a pro advance. So, where the starting that is a pro meristems, the meristems where the foundation for new organs or other their parts laid down is uh, referred to where it is a pro meristems. Okay, so where the we call that is a embryonic meristems, where the starting is there, division started here only. Where the division started, so that area, all that is in your pro meristems. Okay. Second one is primary. Primary means a little bit, little bit uh, starting advance. Okay. So it is the first. Uh, so where it is in pro meristem to form some fundamental parts of the plant. This meristems. So there is a persist in the plant body, right from the embryo state. So these meristems build up primary 
body of the plant, primary body of the plant. We call that is a primary meristems. So next to second one, that is a secondary, secondary meristems. So what is the meaning of secondary meristems? After the embryonic stage, it is not in present from the embryonic stage after the embryonic later stage. Okay? So that is in secondary meristems. So here okay. this is three one is a uh, origin and development based on the origin and development the meristems are divided in how many three categories three three, three. three. Okay. okay sir yes so next to based on the positions based on the positions so based on the positions again so these meristems are divided in three categories Number one, that is in apical meristems. Number two, that is in intercalary meristems. And yeah. third one, that is in lateral meristems. Okay? Okay, sir. Yes, please tell me here, anybody, what is the meaning of meristems? It is a group of tissue with a division for growth in plant. For growth. Okay. So, what is the characteristics of any one or two points? It is... These are the general thin wallet. The cell wall is made up of cellulose. Okay. The cells may be round and oval polygonal shapes. Yeah. Sir. Uh, okay. Classifications. How many types of classifications? Four types is there. Different criteria, different uh, sections. The so one it is in origin. Origin, origin is uh, origin. Origin development. Uh, yes. Origin, origin and development of Initiating cells. cells. How okay. many types is there? Three types. Is there. Three, three types. Three types. One it is in? Pro-meristem. Pro uh, primary meristem. Primary meristem. Secondary meristem. Secondary meristem. Is it okay now? So this yes, three sir. is origin. This three is of origin and development of initiating cells. Yes. So next second one. Positions. Position means where these yeah. meristems are looking in pair. Okay. See, the meristem cell can enter the plant body, entire. Based on that one, it is divided in three categories. Epical meristems. What is the meaning of an epical? Epical. Upside. Tip Short of the side. sections. Yes. Okay. The meristems are present at the apex of root and shoot systems. Okay. Root and shoot systems and other one lateral lateral yeah. appendages okay so they constitute the growing where the growing points and by their activity of access and where the length apical meristems may have a solitary cells solitary solitary means means united united particularly in the eridophytes eridophytes you see here, based on the positions, the meristems are divided in three. One, it is in apical meristems. Okay. What is the meaning of an apical meristems? The meristems are present at the apex of the root and shoot systems. And similarly, lateral appendages. Okay. So, they constitute the growing points by their activity, by their activity, access grows in length. Okay. So, this of positions. And here, one important is there. When we are studying in pteridophytes, and the pteridophytes we are looking in solitary, solitary means united, united meristems is there. Okay. Group of cells is there. So that is often the, the derivatives of these apical meristems differentiated into where it is in permanent tissues that constitute uh, the primary body of the plant. Yeah, because this is in apical meristems. Is it clear now? Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes. So next point, intercalary meristems. In this one, this is a position, the second position, intercalary meristems. 
So what is the meaning of an intercalary meristems? Intercalary. Between the stems parts. Where? Between the, two. Yes, the meristems occur in between two where the permanent tissues, where the permanent tissues. For example, now you see this is a stem. Okay. Yeah. So when we are looking at the stem, older bark structure, the dead cells is there. Okay, entire round we are looking in border cell, uh, dead cells is there. In between, this is the permanent yeah. tissue, this is the permanent tissues. In between, we are looking in intercalary meristems. Between two permanent tissues is there. In we call that is in intercalary meristems. Yes, it's okay now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, sir. Next two point, next one that is of in lateral meristems. Lateral. Lateral. lateral meristems means sides is this. Okay. The meristems present in the lateral positions. Okay. So along the side of the stem and parallel of the surface. So we call this is in lateral meristems. Is it okay now? Position, the based on the positions, the meristems. Are divided in three categories. Okay. Is it clear now? Yeah. Based on the origin, it is divided in three categories. Promeristems, primary meristems, secondary meristems. Based on apical meristems. Okay. So this uh, apical meristems, intercalary meristems, lateral meristems. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next, now you see based on plane of divisions. Based on Plane of divisions. Okay. The meristems that uh, there is a determinant of growth pattern on the basis of plane of cell divisions. It is in three types. Is there one? It is in rib meristems. Second one that is of in plate meristems, and third one that is in moss meristems. Okay. So here also you are looking okay, three sir. types of meristems. Are you taking any notes? Hmm? Yes, One, it is in rib file meristems. What is the meaning of rib meristems? Mm. In leaves, venous. The cells rib, rib, of the rib, the cells of the rib are file meristems divided in only anticlinally at the right angles to the surface of the Apex of growing regions. Okay, we call that is in rib meristems. And uh, these rib meristems, uh, the derivatives of the rib meristems are present in long rows of the files. Such meristems give rise to the cortex and tip, stem and root. So we call that is of in file meristems. Okay, so where the divisions. You know, you see plain divisions. Where the going on divisions, that area, we are looking in uh, these type of the meristems. So next, the second point that is of in plate meristems. What is the meaning of plate meristems? This found in leaves and increased surface of without increase in the number of mesophyll layers. Mesophyll layers. So these meristem is made up of meristem. Parallel layer, the cells that divided it anticlinal and uh, second one that is of in so intercalary growth. It helps the formation of plate structures such as leaf plate and epidermis. Okay, so this one is a plate meristems. So next one, last one that is of in moss meristems. In such meristems, cell divisions occur in all planes. This of resulting in the formation of massive plant body. Origin is uh, called of mass. Means a uh, lot of uh, heavy uh, tissues is there. So we call that is of in mass meristems. This meristem is involved in early development of embryo and where it is in endosperms. So all other uh, reproductive organs like sporangias. Okay, we call that is of in Mass meristems based on the divisions, based on the divisions. So that is the three types is there.
tá? Hello. Sir, sir, net problem on that sir. Sir, leave my pen. Post to wear a madam kill pen. What madam? Post to wear a madam kill pen. The Bagya Lakshmi madam ki host kill pen. Sir, lay the meeting light. Okay, okay. Mm, problem on that one. Don't need to the internet problem. Our meeting ended just there. I delayed. Ended the meeting. Chappa, come to any sheet, sir. Ended the meeting. Boy, I'm sorry, just now. Oh, na. So, my man, leave out, da na. You, my guy, sir. Time will arrive, sir. Only five minutes. Just five, six minutes, so nothing. Recur submit yes, sir. Nee do Saturday well then I think. Oh, check this nera. Ah, nee nee no no no. Ma Sanwa Mission. Ah, ne every ne watch ya. Ah, ne every ne lochcha na. Aadha group lo vetta er gada. Seni anva na. Aadhe. Okay. Ekar ekar submit chahiye na. Ye ye place lo. Aadhe man. Botany lab, Botany lab, okay. Botany black, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Practical <laughs> Practical so maybe email or April or something. I am not done, sir. In that chapter, sir, my class, mm. ah, sir, done. Maybe okay. email or something. Exam so June, July, or something. Semester. So. Okay. Semester mm. system, la, la, man. Okay. Ah, semester system. Mm. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday, 
సాటర్డే కూడా ఉంటుండొచ్చు ఆ సాటర్డే ఉంటుంది అన్నారు టైమింగ్స్ అవైలబుల్ లాస్ట్ సాటర్డే నైట్ టైమింగ్స్ 11 టు 4 అంట ఫైవ్ అన్నారు స్టాఫ్ ఉండేది 11 టు 4 మామూలుగా ఓపెనింగ్ అంటే 10 నుంచి 5 వరకు అట్లా ఉంటది అంట సార్ వాళ్ళు వచ్చి 11 టు 4 వరకు మేడం అది అసైన్‌మెంట్ వన్ అండ్ టూ సెపరేట్ సెపరేట్ పెట్టిరా ఓకే ఫైల్ లో పెట్టిరా లేదు లేదు ఒకే దాంట పెట్టాను నేనే ఒకే దాంట పెట్టాను అవుతాయి ఓకే ఓకే మేడం మాక్సిమం ఎన్ని పేజెస్ రాసారు మేడం ఒక అసైన్‌మెంట్ కి పేజెస్ అంటే సారీ 1 అండ్ 1/2 అట్లా ఒక ఒక కాన్సర్ ఆ ఓకే వాళ్ళు ఏమో అసలు లాంగ్ రైట్ ఎస్ఐ రైట్ 30 లైన్స్ అని పెట్టారు కదా అవును 30 లైన్స్ అంటారు మళ్ళీ అన్ని పాయింట్స్ రావాలి ఆ అన్ని పాయింట్స్ ఎక్కడ వస్తాయి రావాలి కొంచెం అడ్జస్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి